Welcome back from the break. In our News in Focus segment today, we will have a conversation with the Regional Director and the Director of Communications and Operations of Elite Mentoring Program, an organization that is dedicated to enhancing youth mentorship in Ghana. You are welcome to another segment of Edu News in Focus here on Joy Learning TV, where we tend to celebrate not only remarkable academic achievements, but also phenomenal contributions to the educational sector. And I'm sure as young people, we may have, at a point in time in our lives, looked up to someone, and so the idea of mentorship may not necessarily be new to us at all. And so here with us today is the Director of Operations and Communications, and also the regional director of an organization that is dedicated to mentoring young people like you and I. And so without wasting much time, we are going to get right into it. My name is Comfort Antetetiria, and I will be your gracious host. Hello, and welcome to the In Focus segment on Joy Lending TV. Hi. I hope you are doing well. I'm good. Yourself? I'm great. Wonderful. Well, thank you. So we are going to just get right into it. Can okay. you tell us about the Elite Mentorship Program, right? Okay. And yes. it's all about it. No, introduce yourself first, and then okay. tell us about your program. Definitely. Uh, my name is Mark Bano Adom, and I'm the Operations Director and Communications for Elite Mentoring Program. And... Elite Mentoring Program was started in 2020, and it was founded by Reverend Dr. Collingwood Williams. Reverend had a vision, and he realized that the young people in Africa have been neglected. Most of the decisions that were being taken did not really factor as young people in the decision process. So he came in and decided to establish a Elite Mentoring Program to empower young people so that we can be able to take the reins of um, um, leadership when we are put in the space. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was the inspiration behind it. Yes, that was the inspiration. Okay. Behind. So who, who were exactly the target audience for this um, program? Young people between the ages of 14 to 35. Oh, okay. So, yeah. JHS, um, SHS? SHS, okay. um, universities, and people after university. Oh, okay. So, we have different initiatives that cover those places. So, yes. So, we have DVS for the junior high school, okay. and we have Campus Connect for the senior high school. They mentor me for the university. Oh, okay. Yes. So, what happens with developing value system is that we mentor the university students, and bring them back to the junior high schools to speak to the final year students okay. and share some wisdom nuggets with them okay. about how to prepare for exams, encourage them okay. for their BEC. And even some, sometimes we have people from their junior high school like who have graduated and gone to the university or doing something who come back to come and speak to them. And the young people are very inspired because um, from the journeys we've had, we noticed that some of the young people do not have any believe or vision that education is the key because that song has been sung mm. for so long but as time goes on people have lost hope in education being the key but we realize that it's not just education mentorship also needs to be put in place okay so yes. for the that's for the basic school yes how about the SHS, the campus connect what yes. does it entail does so, it also so it's also until us bringing speakers to come and speak to the people <coughs> That one we're we doing it in partnership with the National Youth Authority and it's something that we've been working on for some time and we're about to release in, into the public. Okay, yeah. all right. So um, what in how many communities have you visited so far? How many schools, SHSs and okay. GHS? Uh, so we've met up over 2,000 students in all from last year's project that we had. You know, COVID took two years out of the time so we started major activities last year. So we visited over 2,000 schools okay. and 2,000 students have been impacted. We've been to um, the Bavana district, that's um, Kotobabi one and two. We've been to Big Farm. We've been to University of Ghana. We've had many mentorship sessions there. We've been to UPSA, Wisconsin University, Academic City, um, KNUST, UMATS. Okay. These are just a few places I mean, that we I was, visited. I was yeah. coming to ask if it was only in Accra that you operated, no. but I, I mean, yeah. I heard KN University and UMAT, yes. so my question was answered. Okay, so um, what exactly does the mentorship process entail? What do you do? 
Okay, so it depends on the target audience okay, that we so are meeting. Let's take it from JHS. What what okay. do they do? All right, so for JHS, their main preoccupation is to pass their BEC. So we come in and encourage them and motivate them and show them that they can actually do it, give them guidance on how to have study groups, introduce them to past questions that, hey, you can try your hands on past questions. They help a lot. Mm. Yeah. In the university, it's very common to use past questions, but it's not something that a lot of people in the GHS are aware of. So those are some of the things that we do. And we also bring in um, peer mentors from the universities that come in to come and speak to them. Okay. Yes, for the universities, it's more of based on their careers. So depending on the career aspiration that we meet, you may have a peer counselor or someone in that industry to mm -hmm. speak to you and guide you on how to get there. We have the Career and Professional Development Initiative where we come up with projects and webinars and seminars and workshops that cover all these aspects to kind of um, encourage young people in terms of their career paths. Yes. So even tomorrow, we're even having a, um, a webinar okay. with um, ALX, and we're going to have some talks on um, LinkedIn optimization. We're going to have someone to teach them on how to assess scholarships and the universities abroad and all those things. And we have someone in the tech space, because ALX trains people in the tech space. So we're going to have someone in the tech space who has built a business from scratch and is doing very well to come also speak to them on what organizations are looking out for. Okay, all right. So um, how often do you visit one particular school? So is it like a one day program where you go to talk about, you know, all these projects or it's a consistent um, event, like it happens consistently? Yeah, so every month we do our best to visit two um, junior high schools. Then we also do our best to have two webinars and seminars for the universities. So it's been a consistent effort because um, Rome was not built in a day. Mm -hmm. And even though we may want to have at a certain impact or a certain level, there are certain restraints that prevent us from doing it. But we believe in God that as we gradually um, do it step by step, we're gonna have the necessary impact, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So um, when you go to these um, schools and then you have the webinars and the programs, um, are there people who reach out to you that, that they would want to have mentors from your um, organization? And is there any support, any form of support given to them, maybe in financial terms or emotional or whatever support? Yes, yes. So um, we have some partnerships with certain institutions like Taft College, um, that's the African Freelancers College where they train people with skills, okay. dressmaking, fashion design, um, digital marketing, um, sound engineering in the works. And these people come in and say, oh, I'm a fashion designer. I have a fashion um, dream. I want to be a fashion designer and I don't know how to do it. So can you help me? So through our partnerships, we connect them to these institutions and they are trained so we have two people that graduated from TAF last year. Actually, the reason why I said two is actually three. Mm -hmm. one, had, one set of twins. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so one lady was trained in fashion design, and the two guys, one did videography and one did um, photography. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in terms of that support, we do research and find out opportunities that are out there that they can tap into. We recently also had a webinar to teach people how to access courses for free on Coursera. Mm. Yes, because people are deterred when they see the $50 a month or something, they just run away. But there are actually ways that you can go and ask for financial aid and you can do the course for free. So there are many institutions out there that people can access to develop themselves that they can do. One of the things I noticed um, from interacting with the young people is that most people are engaging in um, super bet and those mm. gambling mm. stuff, yes. If you speak to three young people, you would be surprised. <laughs> it will come up definitely. But one of the things that we are doing is that we are telling you that it's the same laptop you have, it's the same internet you have, it's the same brain you have, but we are guiding you to be able to use it to empower yourself mm. so that you don't depend on 
um, there's lottery things to change your life. Many people are of the assertion that that's how they can change their lives. But how many people have we seen that have been able to change their lives? I mean, we that? hear stories that people have won 7,000 and stuff. So, um, yeah, millions of CDs yeah. and things. But how many people win this thing regularly? Or do you know anybody personally that has changed their life through <laughs> lottery? Not really. Exactly. So this is what we do. We're like, hey, we're not bringing in something extraordinary from mass. But it's what you have, mm -hmm. and we are guiding you that what you have, you can actually make the most out of it. You know how Moses went to meet God mm -hmm. in the burning burns? God said, what do you have in your hand? Yes, and that's what God used to use to liberate the people in Egypt. So we come to you and we're like, hey, what do you have in your hand? I said, I don't have anything. No, you have a phone. You are on TikTok all the time. There's, there's actually a job mm -hmm. around TikTok. People are doing social media marketing and all those things. You can learn it. That course is for free. Go here, take this course, this, 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 and you change your life. Mm, yeah. I see. Yeah. All right. So um, how do you select the schools that you visit? Um, do they need to write to you first before you go there? Or what's the selection process like? Okay. So we have a partnership with GES, and with the help of the counseling department, they give us some schools that they would like us to visit. And we're also open to schools who write to us and say, hey, we're here, we'd like you to come and speak to us. We'd like you to come and impact to our young people and we can plan something around that. Mm. So that's basically it for that, yeah. Um, is there any feedback from the people you have impacted? Yes, we've actually had a lot of feedback because we also open up our office and invite national service students also. Okay. Some people also come in to volunteer and through the mentorship, we've had people securing online jobs before even finishing national service. Imagine that. Mm. Yeah, like someone earning $300. Wow. Yeah. You know? and, and at that point, would they have gone through the mentorship process? They mm. would have been, you know, taught some courses online and stuff mm. so that they would secure the job. Or like, because they joined you, that is how come they got the online um, employment. I oh, think you get to me. Oh, yeah. So based on the trainings we do, we bring in industry experts okay. and we say, hey, this is what I did. It's available to you. You can do it. Or even next next um, webinar we're having, we're bringing in um, this Instagram growth experts who's come to speak on how to use Insta Instagram to do business and all those things. So when they learn these skills, and like I mentioned Coursera earlier too, they can go and take the courses, get the certification, put it on LinkedIn. We are teaching them how to optimize their LinkedIn to position themselves properly out there mm. so that they can also get um, people reaching out to them. Hey, I see you're into this, you're doing this. Can you come and do this? Mm. Or applying for opportunities. We also do research on the scholarships that are out there. You, you'll be surprised, but there are some people that have gone to school from GHS in Ghana here, from GHS to university on scholarship. Wow. Yes. When I heard it, I was like, hey, really? <laughs> so what we do is that we find out the scholarship programs and we put it out and say, hey, this is a scholarship program out there. Apply. And who knows? You can change your life from yeah. that. Yes. So one of the things we do is that, hey, instead of finishing university, and come to sit there and say, I'm waiting for some uncle somewhere to come and put me in some spots. From level 100, we gauge a career path okay. and start working towards it. So there are some things that you don't necessarily f have to finish university to start doing. And when you start taking these courses, like digital marketing, data analytics, and all those things, there are courses over there that you can do. And through our partnerships with Ladies in Tech in Valley View, they are being empowered in tech stuff, encouraged to do tech, ALX, taking programs online, being taught also, TAF College. All these people are out there giving opportunities to young people. But you may not know. Mm. If your algorithm is around um, people dancing and laughing, you miss it. So when EMP comes into your life, we introduce you to these organizations or opportunities out there so that you can connect to it and change your life. Mm. Yeah. So are all these offers free or you need to pay something initially to access all these offers that you've mentioned? Okay, so for us, we, we're a non-profit, so oh, okay. we do not charge for our services. Yes, so if you come 
and you have a vision and you have a dream and you are passionate and committed will help you achieve it. Wow. Yes. I see. That's, that's very impressive. It is. Yeah. We, are, we have an impressive founder. He had a beautiful vision. And okay. Yeah. Okay. So my last question for you is, um, is there a period, is there a time period um, for those courses, the offers that you mentioned? How, what's the time period involved? Is it a year? Is it two years to undergo those courses? Yeah. So depending on what you're doing, it varies the time frame that you're given. So some courses are six months, some courses are three months. What's the maximum and the minimum? The maximum could be, like I mentioned, we do university too. So we encourage you to apply for um, graduate courses. So it could be two years, it could be a year. Okay. Yes, so in terms of our mentorship, it's lifelong. Yes, it's really up to you and how hungry you are mm. and how serious you want to take it. So you can have a course that gives you three weeks, six weeks, um, one month, three months, six months. And it's also dependent on how fast you are or how serious you are. Because somebody may enroll for the course and may not even be serious with the mm. um, models. But when it is, you have someone who is very serious and on it and spending eight hours a day and saying that, hey, I don't have a job, but there's a course. Mm. And working hours is eight hours minimum. So I'm going to take this course and eight hours a day, I'm going to spend it to do this course. By the time you see, this person will change their life within a month or two. All yes. right. Thank you very much. It's been fun having you here. Yes. And I hope young people out there are inspired to join yes. your program. And yeah, all the best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for having us. You're welcome. Okay. So we are here with the regional director of the Elite Mentoring Program. And she's here to get interactive with us, just as her colleague was here to get interactive with us earlier. So hello and welcome to the InFocus segment here on Joy Learning TV. Okay, my name is Ekria Okukumensa and I'm the Regional Director of the Elite Mentoring Program. So our mentees are recruited through our partnerships and our community outreach with the basic schools and the universities and all of that. And also, if you want to go onto our website, you can do that with your specifications as to what your needs are, and then we can also match you to our mentors. Okay. Yes. Okay, so um, on the issue of mentors and mentees, um, how do men um, mentors, what are the criteria that mentors are selected by? Okay, so mentors are selected based on their professional experience as well, and then uh, those who are actually interested in um, providing in, um, guidance for the youth, those who are actually interested in youth development, those who are actually interested in helping to nurture the youth to develop themselves and also discover their fullest potential as okay. well. Do they have to maybe have undergone tertiary education or even like SHS students can offer yes, to be mentors? Yes, our mentees are upcoming mentors as well. So we have peer-to-peer, -peer, so um, our, our youth, the, those in the universities, can also be mentors as well. So long as you have someone behind you who needs your guidance, okay. who needs to get to where you are, you can be a mentor. Okay. 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 So who are some of the stakeholders and the partners you work with? Okay. So some of our partners and stakeholders are um, the National Youth Authority, the Ghana Educational Service, um, we have Taft College, we have um, HICC, that's Highway International Christian Church, and then um, we have ECW Capital, we have uh, Higher Nature Products as well. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so we have quite a number of... That's good. Yes. Do the schools that you visit also have partnerships with you? Actually, so long as we, we are able to come to your your institution or your school. It means the GES has approved of it. Mm -hmm. So we are in partnership with the Ghana Educational Service. So before we're able to go to the schools, we have their approval. So so long as we go there, they are aware of us that we're coming and that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Um, so what are some of the criteria you look out for when you are embarking on your projects? Um, do you, when you visit communities, you visit communities as well, or it's, it's only schools? It's mostly the youth. Oh, it's okay. the youth, yes. Okay, so um, what are some of the criteria? Do you look at um, um, the location of the school, the, the kind of people that are Not in the school? Not necessarily. We believe that uh, the youth, everybody has something inbuilt in them. 
we believe that everybody has something unique within them so so long as you're willing to grow willing to to discover yourself and that kind of thing you're you're welcome to to join us okay. yes and what has been the impact of this project so far okay so so far we have been able to impact over 2000 students and uh, the youth at large mm -hmm and um, been able to help those who want to actually um, have um, attachments. We've helped those who are interested in um, career development. We've, we've helped those who want um, scholarships and some online training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite, quite a number of yes, stuff you've actually empowered the youth with. Okay, so yes. how do you fund all of this? So our projects are funded through um, grants, donations, corporate sponsorships, and sometimes fundraising. Um, our, our, our founder also supports us through various businesses that we use to support us. Okay. 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 So if there's an individual out there who wants to be mentored, how do they reach you? Okay. So you can reach us on our social media handles on empghana.com um, that is our website as well we have some forms on there that you can fill out to be part of us whether being a mentor or a mentee okay yes all right so um in the foreseeable future do you have any projects in mind that you plan on undertaking yes we actually have the library project mm -hmm. Um, upon our activities with the basic schools and the high schools, we noticed the lack of uh, libraries. So um, we decided to start a project on that whereby we source for funding and then donation of books f to set up these libraries for the students to actually undertake the habits of reading. Okay. We feel it's important for us to inculcate that into our system to have these students read more okay. yes so that's okay. one of the projects that we have coming up so we we are open to people who want to donate books or any kind of funds towards this particular project okay um so what are your final words for our audience out there um, okay so i want to encourage um um parents I want to encourage students, I want to encourage mentors, I want to encourage those who want to be mentees to take part of this journey, this transformative journey of discovering yourself and um, finding your purpose and also being the best version of yourself. All right. Well, thank you very much for making time to be here today. And I'm sure our listeners have learned a lot. They've heard a lot. Um, I'm sure you would be inspired to reach out should you want to be mentored in any way, shape, or form. Kindly reach out and be mentored. I mean, everybody needs help, a little help at any point in time. So this is where we'll draw the curtains here on Edu News In Focus segment. And my name is Comfort Antetete. I catch you same time next week. Keep watching Joy Learning TV for all your favorite educational programs. That'll be all for today on Edu News 360. Thank you for watching.